Greetings, Inquisitors. Welcome to the Holocron. This is the sixth Holocron in the Darth Lokwitter Mod Mastery series. In this uh, Holocron, I plan to go over all of the tools that I use in the batch mod management. The tool was revised a while back. I've been working on my system. I'm going to talk through all my filters, how they work, so how I sort out bad stats, how I work the mods, how I set up my slicing filters. Um, I have some modding filters for characters. And then uh, I'm going to take a lot of time and I'm going to go through and show you all of these filters being created, which boxes I checked, and uh, so you can see that. And then I'm going to go through on my Darth Loquitor account and work a set of mods using these filters. And then I'm going to do it again using the uh, Obtisio account. And uh, the Obtisio account was where I originated a lot of these filters. And, and you'll see in, the, in that uh, process, I actually have a few that I have to fix that I didn't have quite right yet. So, um, so there's real examples there if you want to watch how I use this system and, and actual uh, gameplay. All right, so let's get into it and see how we can make these mods and make these tools work for us. So if anybody's not familiar, when you go into a character and you look at their mods, uh, this will be your normal mod inventory screen. At the top, there's filters. You can either create a filter or select a uh, preset filter, and it'll filter all the mods that you see. When working on mods, you're actually going to want to use that button in the lower right that says Manage Mods. That's going to bring up a different screen, but that screen's going to allow us to manage all kinds of mods in, in batches. So we can select the filters from there as well, and that's where we'll be spending most of our time. When you go into the Manage uh, screen, you're going to see this, all of the preset filters that you already have built. Uh, and some people I talked to recently weren't aware that you could save these filters. Um, the, you can save the filters. The problem is, uh, once you save a filter, it's saved. If you go back later and you edit the filter for any reason, uh, you have to resave the filter again um, under a different name or delete the old filter and then save the new filter. It doesn't allow you to edit and resave it to the same slot, which is unfortunate, but uh, that's the way it works right now. So select your filters or go through and check off what you want and then save it. And that's how we're going to create these filters. So for sorting and selling bad stats, the first thing we want to do is sell any mod that isn't five dots. Uh, we still occasionally get some of them from events, so I'm going to check. We want to sell uh, any mods that have what I consider to be bad stat lines, and uh, we're going to sell mods for, for income. So this is a choice you can make, and in the Mod Mastery series I talk about this, about the choice to sell the mods that are gray, uh, that are on the left side, the circle, the diamond, and the square. Since the changes to mods where the drop rate is more consistent across all shapes. Uh, that's not as desirable as it used to be. But since those mods have standard stats, uh, we, we still need fewer of them uh, to get a good inventory. So we're gonna, I'm going to suggest and, and show you what I do, and then you can make your own decisions from there, but we're going to create a filter for it. So to sell any mod that isn't five dots, the first thing you're going to check is only unassigned, only mods not in loadouts, and you set the rarity uh, with the block that's anything uh, mark 1 to mark 5. So if we want to see that in action, uh, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to come in here and select the mark 1 to mark 5, and we're going to save the filter as uh, just sell small mods. So there we go, we confirm that, and we've created our first um, created our first filter. Sorting bad stats. We're gonna check unassigned, only mods not in loadout. And the reason I always wanna check this only mods not in loadouts, uh, there'll be times if you use the loadout feature, uh, let's say for example, you remod characters for a territory battle or, or GAC or something like that, and if you have some of your mods that are in a different loadout in inventory, uh, you may see them, work on them, uh, or as was the case with me one time in the past, 
Uh, I had moved mods off of a character that wasn't yet seven stars or gear 12. And uh, I took some of those mods that I really needed to make that character fast. And uh, they looked good, so I six dot modded them. And then when I went back to mod the character again, uh, I'd used up all those mods and turned them into six dot mods. So you don't want to see that when you're working on the mods. And, and if you've already got something on a character or uh, in, a, in a loadout, we don't want to see it. All right. Then for mod slot, we're going to select all the shapes except the diamond. In the primary stats, we're going to select accuracy, defense, and tenacity. I'm not often going to pick those main stats, um, but uh, there is you have to be a little bit intelligent about how you do this, uh, especially if you're farming tenacity mods. You definitely do want to keep the tenacity crosses that have tenacity, so that's a thing to look for if you're going to use this. And, of course, we have to eliminate the diamond slot because that always has defense as the main stat. There's no choice there. So if we were to select that, then we would see all of our diamonds, and we don't want to see all of our diamonds. Select a level less than six so that we're selecting the ones that we haven't worked on yet, and then uh, mark five, and then just sort by speed. So let's take a look at doing that. So we come in here. Only unassigned, only mods not in loadouts is already checked. So now we can go through. Uh, here I reset it just to show you. Check those two boxes again. Select everything except the diamond. Accuracy, defense, tenacity. Less than level six. Mark five. And then we're going to go ahead. And I'm so, uh, I, I, I select this, uh, sort by speed. You don't have to do that for this filter, but uh, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't really matter. So then you see all these mods that have defense main stats, and uh, we save the filter. Uh, sell bad stats. Or sell undesirable stats, maybe you could call it. Um, something like that. So that's going to show us those stats. And this is an intelligent sort, so once you do this filter, you're, you're going to select all, but then you're going to look at the mods, deselect any that you uh, want to work on. So that's, uh, that's an example. But like if I have an offense mod with a tenacity main stat, I'm never going to use it. Accuracy arrows, uh, there used to be a few uses in the game for accuracy arrows. Maybe there still are uh, when it's relevant to trying to overcome dodge datacrons or something like that. But in general... Uh, this is for the mid game, I really haven't had use for an accuracy arrow. So at this point, I sell them all. All right, so, but, uh, but be smart about it. Take a look. If you do have a, like a defense triangle with a defense main stat, and for some reason, uh, you know, I might want to work that. There's, there's tanks in the game. If that hits some speed, uh, I might be willing to use a defense main stat. On a tank like Fives or a Kylo Ren Unmasked or something like that. So this is not just necessarily, you can just select it and sell, out, sell them all. Or you could select them and, and have a look through it and see what you like. Now at this point, uh, what I started out doing is I was trying to do more of a brute force method. And say, okay, I sold off the small ones. I sold off the stuff that I didn't like. Uh, and now I just go in and I select every mod that, that's level one. Uh, or like less than six and I put them at level six <clears throat> and then I look at all of them and I just sell everything that doesn't have speed but over time I found that that, that really felt like a waste of credits because uh, uh, if I had uh, purple grade mods the B grade mods uh, six there's no reason to put six uh, level ups into them because if they don't develop speed within the first level to three they're never going to have speed so the, the more I looked at this the more I just felt like I was wasting money and I didn't want to do it so if you want to go quickly through your mods and you're just looking for the fastest way to level up your mods uh, that that's not what I'm going to show you uh, what I've decided to do is create a lot of different filters we're going to go through this layer by layer but it gives me the control that I want at each different level. And there's kind of three different levels for me. There's what a gray mod looks like and, and has to look like to deserve to be sliced. Uh, and I'm not keeping gray mods as gray mods. Uh, unless it's a speed arrow that's gray that can develop 30 speed and maybe I want to work on it, maybe I don't. But for the rest of the gray mods, I don't want a gray mod. I really don't want that mod unless I plan to slice it. 
So I'm going to work on those at a certain level. We're going to work on the blue and green together because I have the same criteria for them for how I slice. And then we're going to work on the purples and golds together because, again, I have the same criteria on those for how I want to slice. So we're going to go through this layer by layer. It's a bit more complex, uh, but when I get to the real example, you guys will see that it doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't take long. Once you get these filters set up, it, it doesn't really take that much longer. And like I said, for me, it feels like it... Uh, gives me more control and wastes a lot less credit. So let's get into it. Um, in, the, in the mod series, I talk about these left gray mods and the, the simple fact of it is credits, okay? If you're very early in the game, you have no credits, this is a way for you to gain back some credits instead of spending them on mods that have a low, prior, uh, low chance of working out. If you're later in the game and you have a lot of credits, like right now on the local order account, I'm carrying 100 million credits. So it's no problem for me to, to work these mods when I want to and look for more opportunities. So early in the game, you're looking to control your spending at, in a way that gets you the best mods possible. Later in the game, when you have the available credits, you're going to want to work all of these to get the most chances possible uh, to get some good mods. So that changes throughout the game. So basically, just look at your credit situation, and if you have credits to work them, work them. If you don't, you can create this filter to sell them. So only unassigned, not mods and loadout. We'll pick the square, the diamond, and the circle, then our Mark V, E, select all, and sell, if you want to do that. Okay, let's take a look at that and see what that filter looks like. So finishing out this uh, prior filter. All right, so we're gonna do unassigned, only mods not in loadouts. We're gonna select those left side ones, Mark V, E, filter, and we're gonna see everything in here, okay? Now in this case, we don't really wanna sell those mods. Uh, I'm actually gonna work them in the video. So uh, we'll set up that and uh, I'll show you how that works. Okay, the arrow sort. Um, in a lot of the coming filters, I'm going to eliminate arrows. Arrows can have speed as a main stat. And a lot of the filtering that I do is going to work on filtering by speed substats. And if you're not careful, uh, you'll pull in all of your speed arrows into that search uh, because obviously a arrow with a speed main stat can't have a speed substat. So I do a separate arrow sort and I work on the arrows separately and uh, that does two things for me. Uh, I get to see all my arrows at once and I tend to keep like every speed arrow that I ever get. So this filter lets me go in and kind of consciously look through and uh, sell the speed arrows that I'm not using. Uh, that, that may have worse stats. So then I kind of keep the premium stats on the arrows that I'm waiting to put on characters. So I found over time that I built up too many of these arrows and it helped me to have a separate filter so I could weed through them. All right, so in order to set up the arrow filter, we're gonna do only unassigned, not in loadouts. For the mod slot, we're gonna select the arrow only. And for level, we're gonna select at least level one and that gets us every arrow that we have that's uh, not a assigned or in a loadout. Then uh, for rarity, we're gonna do just the Mark V ones. We're gonna sort by speed and we're gonna filter it. And, and again, this is gonna be another one of those intelligent filters because uh, we're gonna get the mods filtered and then we're gonna go in there and uh, you know kind of manually work on the, on the arrows. And again, I wanna do this because I want control. I, I feel like if you're just doing a bunch of batch macro stuff, uh, you end up losing a, a bit of control. So here we've selected it sorted by speed, pick the arrow, and this becomes our arrow search. And then we filter and we see that all the speed arrows come to the top and all of the other arrows that we have to work on uh, are also represented in there. All right, so that's that filter. So, uh, yeah, like I said, don't hoard every arrow that you get with speed. Look for arrows with mis mismatched sets. So, Remember when I was selling bad stats, I just generically said I'm going to sell all the accuracy. Well, you don't want to sell all the health main stats. 
maybe I have a, a defense arrow with a health main stat, and that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I have a speed arrow, uh, that, like a blue speed arrow that has a health main stat or a protection main stat that's already showing a speed substat. That's interesting. I might want to play around with that. Uh, but let's say I have an offense arrow that has a health main stat. I, I'm never going to use that, right? An offense arrow with a health main stat, why, why would I pick health if I'm modding my character for offense? Uh, I'm always going to want you know, either speed, uh, offense, or potency. Those things make sense to me for an offense mod set. Protection, health, all that stuff, that, that crit avoidance. I'm not going to use crit avoidance on an offense set. So for me, I picked those arrows out of here, uh, just kind of looking at it and deciding what I want to actually work. And I sell them off. Again, I don't want to waste credits. So any of these mods that I don't think I would pick for a loadout, I just want to unload them before I ever spend a credit on them. All right, so let's make that arrow sort. We, we've already made the arrow sort. Moving on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, working the grays. Okay, so I want to filter to upgrade gray mods. Uh, but what I've kind of settled on is a routine where I sort it, including speed. And then as soon as I hit the upgrade to six, uh, all of the mods that hit speed uh, get kicked out. And then I can look at it and decide what to do from there. So here we're going to do only unassign, only mods not load out. Select everything except speed on primary stat. Now that's going to kick out all those speed arrows, right? They're not going to show up. So on primary stat, we're going to pick everything. We're not going to pick speed as a main stat. Then we'll see all the stuff that we want to work on. For secondary stat, we're going to select speed, and then we're going to check the box so that it says it doesn't have speed. The level, we're going to pick less than 15. Uh, I'm assuming that if I've already got some gray mod at 15, then I'm probably going to slice it or want to use it for something. So uh, we're just going to look at less than 15. Rarity is uh, five dot mods, and the tier is E. So let's go in there and let's see what it looks like to set up that filter. So here we go in, only unassigned mods not in loadouts. Select all the primary sp stats except speed. Less than 15, mark 5E, sort by speed. And then uh, I kind of forget here for a second that I've got to do the uh, does not have speed. And then I go in here in the speed, uncheck it, doesn't have speed. All right, now we're ready to save the filter. So there's the gray mod filter. You can see those are all my level one unworked grays. So we'll call this filter work gray. Uh, whatever you want to call it, whatever makes sense for you in your account, uh, feel free to do that. All right, so then what we're going to do with these gray mods, uh, I'm going to put them at six, and I select them all, and I'm always hungry for crit damage triangles. I never seem to have enough. Uh, and I want to look at any crit avoidance arrows. I want to uh, potentially give them a chance to develop speed. Uh, so very early on in the game, we have very few mods. Uh, you may not just want to sell all these generically. You may want to keep more of them uh, because, yeah, I mean, you got to have something to put on your characters, right? So uh, do, it, do a little bit of an intelligent unselect here if you want to work on anything more. Sell what you don't want and then take the rest to 12. And if there's anything left in this sort that's 12 that didn't hit speed, uh, again, if you're in the early game and you spent the money to put them on 12, maybe you want to keep them. But, uh, you know, once you're past the first few months of play, you're just going to sell anything that doesn't hit speed, more or less. All right, next we're going to do a sort to finish and slice these gray mods. So I use the gray mod slicing before I move on to high-level mods. And uh, you'll see why at the end, because uh, basically if we have a mod that's gray that has five speed and I slice it once to green and it doesn't hit speed, I'm not interested. I'm done with that mod. I'm literally, I'm going to sell it. A five speed green mod, if you click slice again, uh, you're just wasting materials. 25% chance you're going to hit the speed. You're already behind the statistical curve. So for me, if it doesn't hit speed right then, I'm not interested. So if I do the slicing now, then a filter that I do later for single speed mods, 
is going to pick up any of these failed slices and I'm going to be able to sell them off without kind of losing track of them and having them clog up the account. Again, in the very early game, um, you know, maybe you want to keep some of those mods. If you put them at 15 and they've got five speed, just go ahead and slap them on a character. You don't need to sell them. Um, but, uh, but obviously later in the game, when you start fighting with your mod inventory, uh, you only want the ones that you're going to continue to work on and you're not often going to pick a five speed mod. Again, for me, uh, I'm always trying to find some, you know, high quality crit damage uh, triangles. So they give get a whole lot more forgiveness than any other mod type. And uh, if they have five speed, then probably they'll still get used on a character somewhere because that's a stat that I'm looking for all the time. All right, so let's set up the finishing and slicing. Uh, we're going to do only unassigned, only mods not in loadouts. We're going to select everything except speed for the primary stat again. We're going to uncheck the revealed box, make sure that's unchecked. We're going to select speed, at least one speed. And uh, the level, we're going to do at least level one. Mark 5E, and then we're going to sort for speed. So a few more boxes to check here, but basically uh, we're going to look for everything. We don't want the speed arrows to show up. We're going to look for secondary stats where it has at least one speed. And then we're going to look at all of those grays and see if there's anything that we want to slice. Now, when you do slicing, um, uh, we're, we're going to want to pick the right mods for slicing. So let's talk about that here in a second. Let's go ahead and set that filter up. So here uh, we want to make sure that the filter secondaries, and, and I already have this set up from the last filter that I did. Uh, with all of the primaries except speed, so that's already set. At least one Mark V E sort by speed. Okay, and then we're going to save this filter as finish gray, uh, finish and slice gray. Okay, so now we've got that filter set up. And you can see that it allows us to, to see all the gray mods that we have uh, that have speed on them. And you see that I have a selection of gray mods in there that have five speed already. Um, and, and there's a reason for that, and I'll explain it uh, when I get to the, to the live. Well, I'll explain it now, I guess. So basically what I'm doing, uh, when I'm farming mods and the mod inventory fills up, the first time it fills up, I just go through these grays and I work it to the point where I get the grays worked and sell off all the ones that I don't want. That frees up a ton of mod inventory because probably half of what you farm is gray or maybe more. So I can go in there one time, sell all the grays, work them once, and, and that's it. Just leave it alone, walk away, and then continue to farm probably for the next week again before it fills up. And then the second time I go in and I do my mod sorting, um, I've already got some of those grays uh, set up uh, to, to slice. And then I work all that at once, sell off what I don't want, reset my inventory, and kind of do that again in a cycle. All right. Um, and, and again, if you wanted to sell off those left side grays, you could do the same kind of thing. Let your inventory fill up a little bit, go in there, sell off everything you don't want, and, and, and work it again. Um, the reason I like to work my mod inventory in big batches instead of doing it like every day after I farm mods, uh, basically... Uh, I always farm a lot of mods and I slice a lot less. So when I'm slicing, I want a good selection and I want to be able to slice only the very best mods I have. I don't want to be tempted to, into slicing substandard mods. Just, well, I have slicing materials and I want to use them. So then I use them on, on a mod that I really shouldn't be using them on. So I, I want a big batch of mods. And that way, when I get to the slicing part, I know that I'm slicing the best of the best. Again, this is my method. So we sell off what we don't want. I literally don't want any three speed mods. For four speed, they have to convince me that they're good enough. Again, if it's a gray mod, the likelihood that it's gonna work out, you got one click to slice it, you've got a 25% chance to hit speed, otherwise I'm not interested. If I do that on a four speed mod and don't hit, then I've just wasted a whole bunch of credits and it's not that good anyway. Even if I do hit and I get a three, now I've got a seven speed mod and that's not great. At least if you start with a five speed, you know, even with a minimum hit of three, you have eight speed and there's a big difference between seven and eight. 
as you as you continue to slice these mods. So um, I'm pretty picky about speed and four speed mods have to be pretty good. Again, crit damage triangles get a lot of forgiveness and uh, I, I really do want a few um, crit avoidance arrows with high speed. So I'm looking at all the crit avoidance arrows, but they, again, have to be really good to make it by. I don't need 20 crit avoidance arrows with speed. I need six crit avoidance arrows that have, you know, 20 speed. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking for. All right. So then uh, uh, once you get this set up, you do need to back out of the batch manager and, and look at the mods on the normal inventory screen. So you'll see uh, that's what I've done here. We've backed out of the batch manager. And now you can see just that small selection of gray mods that meet the criteria for slicing uh, that are over there. Now, I, I didn't take these up to, to level 12 yet. So that still has to be done. You want these all to be level 12. Um, so you want to take them to, to 12 before you back out of the manager. Then you're going to use the slicing rules uh, presented in my Mod Mastery series. And be sure to lock the ones that go well. You know, you get three rolls at 16 speed. Lock that mod up. Even if you don't finish it out to six dots and do all the stuff you're going to do, uh, when you're done slicing it, uh, if it's a good one, lock it. And that way you can't accidentally sort and sell, and uh, it keeps you from making mistakes. All right, now we're going to move on to working the, the D and C grade mods and I call it DC uh, you could also call it greens and blues um, wh whatever whatever you like these are the green and blue mods the D and C uh, class uh, five dot mods bad mods have already been weeded out with the arrows and the bad filters and all that so they're gone uh, everything that's left we're gonna just go in there and upgrade six times and evaluate for speed the chances that a green mod without speed will pick up the final stat as speed is 11%. So if you take, uh, uh, there, there's an argument that you should take all your green mods uh, to nine. If I take a green mod to six, I've already seen three of its stats, the original stat line and the two more that I'll open it up with the six upgrades. Hitting that fourth slot, there's 12 possible things. Uh, we've got three of them which means there's nine left. So the likelihood that you get speed as that last stat is one out of nine, that's 11%. And for me, if it doesn't have speed by the time I see three stats, I'm not, I, it's, unless it's, a, again, a crit damage triangle, I'm not giving it any more chances. I'm just going to bail on it, sell it off, and I take the money. Okay, so to me, um, taking the mod up to... If you look at it, uh, going to six and then going to nine, uh, it takes double the credits for that for the next three upgrades. So you get six for a certain price, and then going up to nine is a certain price. Uh, so I, I don't do it. Um, so for me, with the green and blue mods, with the blue mods, going to six will reveal all four stats. With greens, it only reveals three. But I'm, it's still the same criteria for me. I'm looking for speed, and, and we're going to set it up that way. All right, so the filter, only unassigned, not in loadouts. Primary stat, we're going to select everything except speed again. In the level, at least level one, we're going to look at all mods. And that'll bring in mods that you have that are 12 and 15 and, and things that you've worked on. It doesn't matter. You, you can select them all. And when you hit upgrade, it, it won't, you know, if you go to six, it's not going to take a level 12 mod and try to add six more levels to it. It's only going to add levels to the ones that are relevant. It'll take anything that's not six up to six, for example. Uh, so we can just sort by looking at all the mods. All right, and then we're going to select the D and C tiers. We're going to select both and sort by speed. All right, let's take a look at setting up that filter. So only unassigned, pick everything but speed, no mods and loadouts at least level one, mark five, D and C grade mods, sort by speed, save that filter. All right, so this is our D and C filter. And that's gonna let us um, get those set up. Now we're gonna take those mods uh, to level six. Right, we're going to do the DC filter, and we're going to take those to six. 
And then we're going to set up our next filter, which is those same DC mods, but we're going to look for everything that doesn't have speed. So same kind of thing, select the same things, uh, no speed arrows. And for the secondary stat, we're going to select speed and doesn't have speed. And level, we're going to look at at least level six. So that just in case there's some D or C mods, or like if we're doing this filter at some point where we haven't just followed the process, that we don't pick up the, the low level mods. So at least six and uh, mark five D and C. So let's take a look at that one being set up. It's the same as the prior one. We can just go in and hit speed, doesn't have speed, at least level six, and uh, all that stuff still selected from the prior setup. So we just say DNC, no speed, and that's our next filter. Okay, so once we get into that filter again, if you want to go in and look for, let's say, for example, crit damage triangles, uh, you can you could do that. You can, uh, or or even uh, if you never want to sell your crit damage triangle. Well, see, I've tried this before. I, I I unchecked crit damage as a primary stat, but then what happens is you no longer have a filter where you see the crit damage triangles, so they go away entirely. Uh, so yeah, so. Uh, that's the way I do it, and then just, if there's something in specific that I'm looking for, I'll just kind of look through before I hit sell. Okay, look for special mods before you sell if you're working on a specific mod type. Now, for example, if you've got offense mods that have a high offense stats, uh, potency that has high potency stat, uh, so these are just green and blue, and they have their stats revealed, and they're not they haven't been raised to a high enough level yet where you could have multiple hits on the same thing. But but maybe if you're working potency, if you're working tenacity, and you see mods that have tenacity on them, um, maybe you, you want to leave them. And for example, if I'm trying to mod a character for tenacity, and I have a tenacity mod that never hits speed, but it's got four hits in, in the tenacity substat, that's a usable mod. For a character like Enfys Nest, or you know, maybe you want to put some high tenacity onto your Geo Brute Alpha or something like that. Uh, even without speed, sometimes a tenacity mod with really high tenacity can be good. A potency mod that has three or four rolls in potency uh, might still be usable even without speed. So if you're later in the game and you're picky, uh, only pick the ones that have speed. If you're early game and you just need mods, uh, then, then look for things that you might not want to sell. So you can use this as a little bit of an intelligent search. And then I'm going to repeat the filter again. So I'm going to take everything to six. I'm going to look at the ones with no speed. I'm going to sell off the ones I don't want. Maybe there's a few there that I keep. Okay. Then we're going to repeat it. We're going to go back to the DC filter again. And if they had speed or they're good enough in any way, then we're just going to take all of those straight to 12. Okay, green mods will get their first slice, blue mods will get two slice stats, so they'll start getting multiple hits on, on different lines. Then we're going to repeat the, the no speed filter again, and we're going to sell any of the mods uh, that, that didn't have speed or that didn't get that second hit in the relevant stat. Let's say you had a blue potency mod and it did have a potency substat on it, so you kept it. You take it up to 12. If it didn't get a, at least one more roll in potency, probably for me, if it has no speed, it would need all three rolls in potency before I would say, yes, I'll keep that mod. It, it's good enough for its primary stat. If I want potency, I'm going to be able to get a lot of potency out of this mod. It would, ha it, I would have to hit all three on that potency stat for me to say, okay, um, we're going to keep it. And then I might not even slice it. I might just have it as a mod that, that has no speed that I can put on a character where I need a lot of potency. But um, anyway, so you can be selective about it or not, however you want to do it. And then we'll move on to the slicing filter. So the slicing filter, uh, in the rules that I presented, we're going to work on greens and blues with two speed hits. Ideally, we're looking for mods with 10 or 11. Uh, some mods with 9 speed are good enough to keep working on. If I'm slicing up a mod and it has 8 or 9 speed, but the other stats are very 
good and I, I think it's a good mod, I may take another chance at it. But generally, if a mod gets to the B grade, the purple mod, and it doesn't have three speed hits in the substats, I'm just done with it. So that's why I've broken these up into tiers, right? Because if it's green and I take it to blue and it's got two slices uh, in speed, I'm still going to take it another level to purple. If it's blue and I hit it once and it doesn't hit the third speed roll, in any case, I'm done with those at purple, right? So the criteria is kind of the same uh, for this bracket of mods. We're looking for two hits in speed. We're looking to slice those into the third hit in speed. And if we don't, then we lose interest. Now, the 10 speed mod that doesn't hit and goes to purple, you're not going to sell that mod, right? You're going to keep that one. That can go on, on a character, on a second tier character, something that you're just starting up, you're working on uh, until it gets to the point where you want to put better mods on it. Uh, so you can have a lot of these placeholder mods that are 10 or 11 speed, and that's no problem, right? So those aren't bad. We're just not going to slice them to gold. And again, it's about statistics. You're going to hit that slice to gold. You only have a 25% chance. And that is a lot of slicing materials to spend on a mod that has a 75% chance of not being what you want. So for me, that's where the statistics leave off. Okay. For the slicing rules, we're going to check the uh, boxes for unassigned, only mods, uh, not in loadout. We're going to uncheck those. Okay. So when we're looking for slicing, we're looking for every mod that we have that's worth slicing. Primary stat, we're going to select everything except speed again, at least level one. So we see all of our mods, mark five, DNC, and sort by speed. All right. So let's take a look at that one being set up. All right, so we uncheck those boxes. We're going to take off this and we're going to say has speed at least one hit in speed. If we're going to slice it, we need at least one hit in speed. Okay. And then we're going to do DNC, all these mods, sort by speed. And there you can see we've got all of those uh, showing up. So that can be our DNC slicing. Then we're going to go in here. And this is where when you, when you actually do the, um, uh, do the slicing, you're going to want to back out of that management system again and, and go back to the, uh, just the mod inventory to look for your slicing. Okay, so now we start with the B and A level with the purple and gold mods. So the first thing we want to do, we want to do a, a speed check for the B level mods. So we're going to do only unassigned mods, not in loadouts. We're going to select everything except speed, level 1, mark 5, B, and we're going to just pick everything and we're going to add the three levels. And that is going to reveal the fourth stat line on the B level mods. So here we go in, only unassigned, not in loadouts. Pick all of these main stats again, at least level one, mark five B. And again, I do the sort by speed. Um, it, it's not really relevant, but uh, we, we pretty much, uh, sorting by speed is nice to just put in all your filters, even if you don't need it. Uh, that way it's always sorted by speed. For me, that's the way to go. All right, so that's the, the taking purple mods up three levels. Now we're going to do a no speed filter for both purple and gold mods. Gold mods already have all four stats revealed. If they have all four stats revealed and none of them are speed, I don't want to invest a single thing in them, right? We're going to just sell them off. So we're going to select everything unassigned, not in loadouts, all except speed. We're going to select the speed box and check does not have speed. We're going to look at all mods, at least level one, uh, select B and A. And then we're going to sell all that stuff. All right, let's take a look at that filter being set up. So we go in here. It's the same filter as we did previously, except now we're going to add the A level. And we're going to check the does not have speed. And we're going to call this the B and A no speed. 
And here we click on it and you can see all these purple and gold mods, no speed on them, garbage. Getting them things out of here before any further investment. All right, now we're gonna go to the generic uh, filter to work the purple and gold mods. Only on a sign, not in loadout. Everything except speed for the main stat again. At least level one, mark five, B and A, and, and sort by speed. That's gonna get us where we wanna go. That'll show us all the mods that we have to work on. So here, it's, it's again the same things up top. So we uncheck the speed and we just filter the mods. And now you see this is all of the mods uh, that we would have that would have speed. And remember, we sold off all the ones that didn't have speed, uh, so those would no longer show up uh, when we're doing this filter. Okay, so that's the, the B and A level filter. And once we go in here, we're just going to hit these things uh, straight to 12. So for me, you know, the purple ones are at level 3, the gold ones are at level 1. Um, if they have speed on them, I'm just going to take them all the way to 12. Uh, you, you could go bit by bit and see what hits speed and, and what you want to do. But typically you don't have that many purple and gold mods, so uh, it, it's not that big of a deal to just go ahead, go straight to 12, see what you get, and move on from there. All right, then we're gonna do this, this little filter that I talked about earlier. And this is gonna be all the colored mods, D, C, B, and A, and we're gonna look for all the mods that have one speed. So when you go in the macro, and you look for speed in these filters. If you try to tell it, I wanna look for everything with less than two hits in speed, it doesn't work to find the ones with no speed. If you go no speed, it doesn't show you the ones with uh, one speed. If you go at least one speed, then you see everything with, with one speed and more, one speed hit. So I found that this filter where we specifically say, okay, let's go unassigned mods, everything except the speed primary stat. Secondary stat, we select speed and we say, okay, it has less than two hits in speed. In order to meet this criteria, it has to have at least one hit in speed. Uh, it won't show you mods that have no speed. So it has speed, but it has less than two, and that's exactly one. So it will show you all the mods that you have with one speed. And this is something that was kind of a gap in my system before where uh, these gray mods that I would slice once and not hit speed, uh, I didn't really have a good filter to catch them. So this will catch any blue mods, any green mods, any purple, gold, anything that I've done uh, that has one speed hit that may be undesirable. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look at it, and and then we're gonna decide, you know, what we want to do with them. Maybe we keep them, and if we keep them, maybe we lock them, uh, because if something with only five speed is good enough to keep. Uh, we want to lock it to keep ourselves from accidentally selling it in a, in a batch in the future. Uh, so anyway, th this is a nice little filter. I found it works very well for me. And um, when I figured out that gap, I had like, you know, 36 mods in this category that I could sell and, and gain back all that inventory space. So here we're setting it up and we're doing at least level 12, mark five, all this stuff has speed less than two hits. Okay, so now we've got that set up and you can see right now there's only a couple things in there uh, because I haven't worked mods. And you can see an example there, I have a blue, blue crit damage triangle uh, that I did keep and I did lock uh, to keep myself from selling it at some point in the future. Okay, so from there, um, Basically, the next one is to slice the purple and gold level mods. So we're going to select, again, we're going to take the checks off of uh, only unassigned and mods not in loadouts. We want to see every mod we have that, that's criteria for slicing. Uh, primary stats, we're going to select everything except speed, at least level one, so we see every mod. Mark five, B and A, and then we're going to sort it by speed. Of course, this one really has to be uh, sorted by speed. That's important. Okay, so let's get that one set up. Go in here and take a look. So here we've unchecked the uh, 
only uh, unassigned and not in, in, in uh, loadouts. B and A, sort by speed, at least level one. And you can see here we've got all the mods, characters, everything sorted by speed. And that'll be our, our filter for, um, for, for looking for the proper slicing opportunities. And again, this is my method to make sure that when I'm slicing, I'm looking at all of the opportunities I have for slicing, and I'm only spending my slicing materials on the very best mods. We're going to slice purple mods with three speed hits. And we're going to select gold mods to, sometimes to take to six dots. So if it has three speed hits, and my criteria is it has to have at least 13 speed, it'll gain one speed when you take it to six dot. So if it's 14 speed, three hits at six dot, it's, it's okay. Uh, but often I still have mods that are better. Again, um, it, you just have to be smart about this. Some mods deserve to be taken to six dot if you need them, if it's a good slot with a good stat that you don't have and you need. Um, but other times you just take a pass on it. So again, having less slicing materials, you want to look at all your opportunities and select your best ones. Six dot slicing. So here we're going to set up something uh, to, to do six dot slicing. And we're going to go into um, only unassigned and only mods not in loadouts can be unchecked. Select everything except speeds. And for secondaries, we're going to do this is interesting. So what I've done here is I've selected speed and then less than five slices. Uh, what happened with this mod, uh, uh, filter originally, I would see all the six dot mods that I already had sliced up to, to, to five hits. And there's no reason to look at those anymore. I don't want to attenuate them I don't, or calibrate them. Uh, I don't want to slice them. So we're going to kick out anything that's already at five full slices and just look at things four and less. Level at least one, mark five, uh, six, and then we're going to look for sorting by speed. So we're almost to the end, guys. We've got, uh, I think, one more filter after this and we're done. So now we're going to go speed less than five. And it's basically the same as the, the last filter. And now we're going to do any tier, any six dot mod. So we're not going to select any specific color. And we're going to call that our six dot slicing um, filter. All right. And again, once we select that filter, we can either select it from the mod inventory management or we can uh, you just back out of the management screen uh, I'll, and slice it from the uh, normal mod inventory. Okay, if a six dot mod doesn't get a fourth speed roll by C level, blue, then stop slicing. Attenuate once if you're trying to get the fourth roll or twice if it's a really good mod. I can justify if you've got three hits at 17 speed, for example, uh, those are some pretty good speed stats, right? And getting the fourth roll on that uh, could really be worth it. So um, you, if you get it to the blue level and it still only has three speed rolls, feel free to attenuate it once or twice, trying to get that fourth roll. Uh, I'm not going to continue on with it to purple and gold unless it has four speed rolls on it. And then similarly, uh, we're going to continue slicing anything with four speed rolls all the way to gold. And if it gets to gold and it still didn't hit the fifth speed roll, then again, uh, attenuate it the, the first or second time. 15 for the first one, 25 for the second. Uh, so far, I have not been able to justify clicking it on 40 uh, because you could take a different mod and, and do two calibrations uh, for the price of that, that one. So, uh, so far, uh, I don't have enough attenuators uh, to be trying the, the third attempt. So for me, uh, once or twice for a good mod is okay. But, uh, but that's the only things that I want to calibrate, right? I want to calibrate six dot blue mods that want the fourth speed roll or six dot gold mods that want the fifth speed roll. Okay, the last one we're going to build is uh, something that I just call mod characters. And again, this is just to keep myself from uh, assigning things that are already in loadouts. So it's very simple, just only unassigned, only mods not in loadouts, sort by speed. And then when you go to your inventory, uh, you'll see what you want to mod characters. So here we go, simple stuff. We select the, the, the two checks at the top, 
uh, sort it by speed, uh, call it mod character or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, when we back out of that, when we go in and look at characters, then we'll be able to see, uh, we'll see, be able to see the specific mods that we want to see that aren't already in loadouts. So that's important. Now, if you're modding one of your best characters, like let's say for instance that I'm just starting up a character, um, putting it to its initial level 85, getting a little bit of gear on it, and I just want to add some mods so I can throw it in somewhere in Grand Arena or whatever. Um, this is the, the, the sort that I would use. Now let's say, uh, for example, on my Obtisio account the other day I took Thrawn to gear 12 and I wanted to make Thrawn as fast as possible. Now, once you get a character that you say, okay, specifically, I'm going after something on this character, then click the unassigned, and uh, I would say leave the mods not in loadouts, uh, but click the unassigned, and that way you could steal good mods from other characters and optimize the character that you're working on. So once you get to a character that you really want to optimize their mod set, then you could check off the only unassigned. And as always, uh, to sort by speed. All right, so that, uh, that's all of the filters. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do the whole sequence on my local account, you can watch that. And then uh, we're gonna do the whole sequence on the Opticio account. So I'll give you two examples of working through with these exact filters in practice. And, and you can see it, it takes a little bit of time to set up the filters, but uh, uh, so here we have a full inventory, 500 out of 500 mods. So there's all the macros that we, or filters that we just set up. I keep calling them macros. But uh, yeah, so no small mods. In the bad stats, you'll see here's the tenacity, the defense stuff. We're looking, looking through. I don't see anything that I want to keep, so I get rid of them all. Goodbye. Now we're going to take the left grays. And, and here, I could keep them. I could sell them. I've already worked some of them. So in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to keep everything we've got. You can see all those uh, five speed hits. There's one with four speed that we kept. So in this case, we're not going to sell them. We're going to keep them. We're going to work them this time. Here we've got the arrow sort we're looking through just to see. And uh, what you can do, I mean, you could come in here and take all these arrows to, to 12 if you want. Uh, again, I'm going to try to sort for mismatched stats first. We're looking at speed arrows. There's a couple speed arrows in here that, that maybe don't have the greatest stats on them, so we're going to pick them and sell them. Uh, you can see most of these speed arrows have all percent stats. That one had two flat stats on it, so we can pick that, kick it out. Um, this one has a bunch of tenacity on it. I'm not real keen on that, but in the end we're going to keep it because yeah, it's okay. Um, down here we have uh, some gray speed arrows. Here we have one with two flat stats, health and protection. It's an offense mod. We, we don't want any of that for an offense mod. We want like some crit chance stats or something. Two flat stats there, two flat stats there. Uh, again, I, I like the percent stats a lot better. Now that 25 speed arrow has a couple flat stats on it, but it has offense, offense, and potency on an offense mod. So that's good enough to keep for sure. So we'll do that. And then we'll kind of look down here to see if there's mismatched stats. Uh, health mod with protection that only hit 10 speed at 12. Probably not going to pick that. Crit avoidance that kind of petered out at 9 speed. Uh, we've got a couple of them. I'm looking at them thinking, am I ever going to use these? Probably not. I, so if they were 10 or 11, I would have sliced them by now looking for crit avoidance arrows. But at 9 speed, it's kind of like, I, just, I don't know if it's good enough to spend the materials there. Alright, so at the end of the day, we do decide to keep that protection arrow. And uh, crit damage with protection main stat. Speed with no speed. Um, so generally, uh, we, we could sell that crit avoidance with uh, the, the offense with crit avoidance, I missed that. That, that was a no good one. So now we're into the work grays. We've, we've sorted our arrows. Now we've got all of these gray mods, uh, a whole bunch of them here. So we're gonna take them to six, and all the ones that hit speed have disappeared, right? So we're only looking at mods with no speed on this, so they're gone. And I can select all these. 
And we're going to give a little bit more chance to the crit damage triangles. Again, I'm, I'm always looking for crit damage triangles. So we're going to give a little bit of leeway to these guys. Hit them again. See if we can develop some speed. And, and I don't mind spending the credits. But, but they have to be on mods that I really want to, to see if I can hit that speed stat. All right, so we can go here, we can sell them all. We have six left over that are crit damage. We upgrade them to 12, and one of them disappears. So one out of the six did develop speed, and we sell off the rest, and then we go into finish and slice graze. And now you can see everything here has speed. All of the three speed mods we're gonna sell. We're looking at the four speed mods, and uh, you know we're going to make some decisions on slicing but uh but let's let's see where this goes so we'll sell all the speed the three speed ones first take everything to 12. then we're going to back out to the regular mod inventory oop looks like a three speed mod got by me there i didn't see that and then among these mods we're going to look for the things that we want to slice so here we have a defense main stat on a speed arrow with five speed I don't know if I would want to use that. So we move on to the next one. It's an offense mod with five speed and an offense main stat. That's good. Big hit, 11 speed right away. We're going to take it to purple, and it doesn't hit speed on purple. So this is our criteria, right? It had 11 speed. We took it to purple. It didn't get its third speed roll. So, yeah, we click off of it. And in this case, I don't lock it. I'll probably use it somewhere, but it's not locked. Here again, offense mod with uh, five sp uh, speed. Here's a, a, a speed mod with health main stat and five speed. And we're looking at these trying to see what we want to do. So here we take, uh, and it's eight speed. It's, I don't know. Probably not good enough to continue hitting. It did hit speed, but it only hit eight speed, so we're kind of frustrated with that. Now this is a crit damage triangle. Same thing, we hit eight speed, but we're interested in eight speed on a crit damage triangle. We're willing to hit it again, um, but with no speed on the roll to blue, then, then we leave it alone. Crit chance, crit chance with five speed. Uh, crit chance is great early in the game. You've got some characters that you want crit chance on. Later in the game, when you're relicking mostly, uh, when you're modding mostly relic characters, that crit chance is a lot less desirable. All right, again, we're just sorting through this, trying to do the very best mods first. That one we hit, we didn't hit speed, we lose interest, we're just, we're just done with it. Uh, same thing there, one hit, no speed, not going to continue slicing. Here we hit, we get four speed, Nine speed on an offense cross with an offense main stat. We're interested enough to, to go ahead and hit it a second time. And you can see here, we're, we're looking at these four speed mods and it's hard to justify continuing. Here we hit 10 speed. Again, we go to purple. We don't get the third roll and uh, off we go. Here we've got five speed. Um, don't get a hit. Protection on a speed triangle. We take a hit. We don't get it. Off we go. Crit chance again. We're looking at all these mods again. Trying to sort out which ones we really want to work on. Here's offense. It has flat offense on it. It's not a great mod, but it's good enough. All right, here we hit 10 speed. All right, we hit four more speed. It's at 14, so we go ahead and slice this one to gold because it did get... Uh, it's roll. We take it to six dot and we hit, uh, or we take it to gold. Here's that three speed mod. The reason we didn't sell it after all is because it was locked. Okay, now when I was looking at these mods, I, I couldn't convince myself to, uh, um, to slice most of them. There is a crit damage mod here with four speed. We're going to go ahead and test that. All right, take a look. All right, and we hit speed. So we're gonna go ahead 
even though it's only eight speed, we're going to hit it again. It goes to 13. It's looking good. We'll go ahead and take it to gold, 16 speed. And again, we could be taking that straight to six dots. I mean, if we knew, uh, if we knew we wanted to. But again, when I go to my six dot, I want to make sure I'm six dotting the the very best mods that I have. So we're going to hold off on that for now. You can see I have a bunch of blue and green. And again, that's because I've already come in here once and worked on all the gray and got rid of it. So now there's 184 mods just in this uh, green and blue section. So tons of those, but that's because we've already sorted once or maybe even twice on the gray mods. All right, so this is everything with no speed. There's a lot of stuff to look at here. Uh, but it's the same kind of thing. I'm looking for crit damage triangles that might deserve a better chance. Um, so what I do here is I just go ahead and take off the crit damage uh, from the filter just for the moment. And I just sell everything. And then we just go back to the DC filter again. Select everything. Take it to 12. So we've given those crit damage triangles an extra chance. And there you see there's four of them that never got speed. So we're just going to go ahead and dump them. All right, now we're going to, to our slicing macro. And this is going to give us the uh, blue and green. And here you see we have 15 speed on three hits. That's looking pretty good. We take it to purple. We take it to gold. We do get the 19 speed. Um, the mod is locked. This one's good enough that we're just going to take it straight to 20 and we do get or take to six dot and we are going to get the hit for a 23 speed mod. Nice. Uh, here we're looking for slicing opportunities and you can see there's some three hits that are 12. Uh, we don't want those. We want the two hit 11. That looks good. We take it to purple. We don't get it. Off we go. Here's a green one with 11 speed. We've got two tries to hit speed. Blue, we don't hit it. Purple, we don't hit it. We're done. Here's a 10 speed green. Again, two chances. Uh, we miss it uh, twice. But we got potency and offense, so even though we didn't get it, it's still, uh, still pretty good. Here we've got a 10 speed mod that's already on a character. Uh, we try it once, we don't get it. And, uh, you know, we're kind of losing interest fast in these. Um, I still got a couple 10 speed mods. Uh, here that I could work on, but my slicing materials uh, are going down fast, you know, guys, uh, even with a, a decent amount of slicing materials, they're, they're going down fast, and, and I'm not terribly motivated to try to keep slicing. I'm not going to force it, right? We did the best mods that we could find. We're not forcing it. There we put three on all the purple mods. Here we've got all of these beautiful gold mods. We've even got a couple of them that are um, uh, you know, 15 already. And that level 12 mod there, uh, I locked it because it has four hits in crit chance. That's one of the mods that didn't hit speed, but it got four rolls in crit chance. And it's locked, so it didn't get sold, right? We keep those. Um, probably don't need to keep those other two, but they're already at 15, and maybe they'll go on a character, so I just leave them alone. All right. Now we're into our uh, purple and gold filter for speed. We're going to take it all to 12. All right. Now everybody's got their full amount of, of stats. We, we hit some good ones here. You see a protection arrow that got uh, four speed hits, one right next to it that got three speed hits. So the ones that are at 12, um, th those are some of the mods that, that – worked out in this batch all right and then we got a bunch of stuff down here that didn't hit speed or only has three speed four speed uh, so we get rid of all this and of course you see the four down there at the bottom that we that we didn't sell seven speed and eight speed I, I look at those sometimes and try to decide what to what to sell here's all the stuff that has one speed hit like I said, this was stuff that was kind of falling through my filter system. So now we see all of these failed mods 
uh, all the stuff that we have that only has one hit in speed that we didn't want to work on. Um, so every color, all the stuff with one speed hit. And, and ju just looking through here to see, uh, there's a crit damage mod there with five speed. Um, but in the end, we're just we're going to go ahead and sell off everything in that category. All right, now we're going to go to our purple and gold slicing. And again, this is sorted by speed. And you can see right away that the, the top mods are the best opportunities. And some of these are attached to characters that are not, um, uh, they're not seven star uh, gear 12. So we're not going to be able to take them to six dot even if we wanted to. Uh, but this crit damage with 16 speed is looking pretty good to me. So we're going to go ahead and use that as our first six dot slicing opportunity. Here we've taken it to blue. It, it's got four slices on it, so we can keep going. And we hit a 22 speed uh, at, at the fifth slice. All right, here's a protection arrow. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It's got three speed hits. It's already at 17. Gets the fourth hit, goes to 21. We get offense. We go to gold. We still didn't hit it. So here's where we come in and we calibrate. We'll get rid of this flat defense and we'll try to hit speed on it. And we do. We get another speed roll. And it's a minimum speed roll, but still, we'll take it. 24 speed mod uh, that has a protection main stat. So for something like uh, maybe a Bosk character or, or something like that, maybe gas at some point, uh, might like a, a mod like that that's got a protection main stat with a ton of uh, speed on the substats. We're looking for high speed on three rolls. And here we've got another arrow, and it's a health arrow, and it's pretty cool, but it's on DACA. I don't know what we want to do with it, so we just kind of leave it alone. Uh, the one on 3PO is pretty good. So again, these are all sliceable mods, but, but I'm looking through to try to figure out which ones uh, I really want to slice. Slicing materials are precious. I'm running out fast. I really want to figure out the, the best place to put my materials. So I'm really looking for these uh, mods with high rolls on three. Um, this one's got 18 speed, 17 on four rolls. Uh, let's take a look here. 18 speed on four rolls. Um, and this one's pretty good, right? It's on an active character. It's on somebody that's already reliced and we're already using. So let's try to hit that speed roll. There we go. And we got it. So 23 speed on that mod now. And maybe that mod has now become too good for, uh, for, for that trooper. And, you know, eventually it'll probably end up on some other character that's trying real hard to be fast. All right, now we're looking at six dot slicing specifically, and I've run out of materials. So I was a little too anxious. Uh, I, I, I sliced some of those gold mods uh, up to six dot and worked on them. And uh, now I'm, I've got these six dot mods here. But we're not cluttered up with the things that already hit five speed, right? We, th those are sorted out. Uh, so we can look at, uh, you know, a bunch of these that we need the sixth roll on. Uh, this is a nice one, 17 speed with three rolls. We, we need to be able to calibrate that to, uh, to, to continue with it, right? Same thing here, <clears throat> 17 speed on three rolls. We took it to blue, we need to calibrate it. And here we calibrate speed. So having calibrated speed on that, we get it up to 22. Now we can continue slicing it. We can take it, you know, to purple and to gold and, and try to get that fifth hit on speed on that mod. Um, here's the mod character uh, filter going through real quick. And, and you can see that, uh, yeah, so it sorts out. We're not looking at mods that are on characters and we it's sorted by speed. Um, and at the end here, we have 166 mods in inventory out of 500. Uh, so what is that? Uh, 334 mods that we sorted out and got rid of. So uh, the inventory was already there. There was probably um, in total out of that 334 that I got rid of, there were probably, what, about 30 of them uh, that turned out okay that we kept and worked on. So maybe about 10% of them were, were usable, keepable mods. And, and that's 
that's about right according to the statistics. So that's what you can often expect. You'll be selling a heck of a lot more of them than you'll be keeping. All right, we'll go through this same thing on the on the Obtisio account, uh, selling all the bad stats, selling all. We didn't see any uh, non five dot mods, so that was good. Left side gray stuff, same thing. We're going to work those today. Arrow sort uh, the grays to six. We're going to select them all, upgrade them. And then we're going to take a look through here. Looks fine. I'm going to sell all that off. Slicing. We're going to take a look at this. D don't have three speed mods to sell off. So <laughs> here we come out here, take a look at these mods. See if there's any that are really worth slicing. This one's interesting. Crit avoidance. Uh, like I said, if we can find some crit avoidance with good speed substats. It's only 8, but we go ahead and take a chance on it. We get to 13. Um, it, it's pretty mediocre, but uh, again, this, this account's pretty early. I don't have a lot of uh, choices. Um, so, it's... Uh, yeah, it, it's it's better than nothing, so we'll keep it for now. And this mod didn't hit. Try it once, off it goes. This is four speed. These are five speed. That's not a bad mod, but it's tenacity mod with no tenacity on it. And that's what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at the mod going, okay, it's tenacity. It's got no tenacity, but let's see if it could be a speed mod. The answer is no. Uh, here's a four speed, but it's offense triangle with offense main stat which uh, it can work um, we're just going to sell the rest off so we worked a bunch of gray stuff didn't find a lot to motivate us got rid of it okay so we, we burned a few credits but uh, you know maybe it was worth something now we've added the initial six to our blues and greens here we're sorting through all the blues and greens that don't have speed And we're just going to select everything here, sell it. Go back to the, the filter here again, take everything to 12. Go back to the DC slicing. Go in here, take a look, see if there's anything that motivates us. Uh, 11 speed looked nice, but that was three hits for 11 speed. We can invest in this shock mod. We don't hit it going to purple. Again, we're only willing to go to purple with these if they don't hit the third speed. Uh, this is an interesting mod. Bam, six speed, fantastic. We take it up to gold. Um, now it's probably too good. Our, our DACA on this account is really in bad shape. So that's probably too good of a mod for her now, but it means it'll be available for remodding another character at some point. All right, looking at offense there. Then we come back out here. Go back into managing mods, and we're working on purples. Select them all, upgrade to three. Gold and purple with no speed. Get rid of those, goodbye. Work the golds and purples, upgrade to 12. 18 speed, pretty good. Those are mods that we already had though, they're already at 15, we already had them. So, not, not much that came out great here. I'm looking for some, you know, level 12 mods that, uh, you know, jumped up with, uh, uh, you know, three speed rolls at 17 or something like that. But I don't even see any of that stuff. So here I go to my, my one speed filter, and I realize that, that somewhere in translation uh, it messed up. So uh, we got to set that to less than two. We have to resave this filter. We have to save it under a new name. I save it and I, I already have a one filter by that name, so oops. All right, select this one. Look at all the one speed stuff that we've got. That one's locked. Again, there's some of this stuff early game that I kept. And this, this would be one that I locked. But I've never used it, right? It hasn't gone on a character, so if I haven't used it on a character by now, it's probably not usable. So we'll unlock that and get ready to get rid of it. 
select all these things, boot them out of here. All right. A couple lock mods there. You can see that the lock mods don't uh, uh, don't get sold, of course. Now we go back to the purple and gold slicing, just to see if there's anything here that motivates us to want to slice. 18 speeds, pretty good. Four rolls, 18 speeds, okay. Not fantastic. I mean, it's not going to be a 27 speed mod or anything, but it'll get uh, you know it can get over 20, no problem. Here's three rolls at 16. We take it to gold, and it goes to 21. Uh, we take it to 22 at 6 dot. And now we've got a bunch of chances to hit speed. We're going to keep going with this one, and we do, and we get 27 speed mod. So there you go. Best mod of the session, um, 27 speed mod. Uh, happy to have it. And again, that's the value of, of, of sorting through here and only applying your slicing materials to the very best mods. Uh, those are the ones that turn out to, to really be pretty fantastic sometimes. Um, this one's worth taking up, so we're going to go ahead, slice it, 16 speed on three rolls, and we're stuck now, right? We don't want to take it to purple unless it's got the fourth roll, so we're willing to come in here and calibrate it. Uh, we'll calibrate out some potency, and we get potency back again. And uh, it's a little bit better, so we'll keep the change. And then, again, if this is a good enough mod, if we really think it's worth it, uh, we could uh, calibrate it a second time and try again for speed. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just thinking about it. You know, do I really want to calibrate this one a second time? The answer is no. This is 15 speed. This is getting down toward the minimum of what I'm willing to, to slice. Um, that one's on a character that's not uh, gear 12, so we can't take it to six dots while it's applied. 14 speed. I really don't want to do anything less than 14 speed. That's the minimum. So the question is, what do I have that's better? 18 speed on four rolls. We decided to go ahead and go with this one. We do get speed. Hit a minimum three, 22 speed. It's not, I mean, I wish it was better, but hey, it's a 22 speed mod, five rolls. So we're good there. Now we go to six dot slicing just to see if there's anything here. And again, I've messed this filter up a little bit in setting it up the first time. So now we go less than five uh, slices like we had before because we want to kick out the ones uh, that are already finished. And I, again, I, I name it something that I've already got a name for. So we just do six dot slice, kill the other one, and uh, now we can go in there, do that filter, and it'll kick out the ones that are already finished. Vader here, we've got 19 speed. We hit it and go to 22. Sure, why not? Here we've got uh, mod on Jin. Now this is interesting because it's already got five hits in defense, and if we calibrate off the offense, we actually have a 33% chance of hitting speed because defense is already full. So even though defense is not the stat we want, it's got five rolls, it can't calibrate back into defense. Uh, so we try to push the potency to speed. We don't succeed with that. And uh, I'm not motivated to try that second calibration. All right, here we go, hit it again. Another four speed on that mod. Uh, Vader's getting faster in this session. All right, here we go. Take a look. We get offense, and now we're out of materials. So this definitely that that's 20 speed. We definitely want to go to gold. You know, hope, hope and pray to get that to uh, um, 26 speed. Um, and here I calibrate the mod. Probably should have just waited to take it to gold before we calibrated it, but. Uh, I guess I was excited to see if I could just get that last hit on it. But that's it. You know, we've run ourselves out of slicing materials. and uh, uh, But that's, uh, I mean, you can see at that point, it goes pretty fast, right? Once you've got all those filters set up, uh, when you go in there to work your mods on that system, uh, that was uh, probably over a week's worth of mod farming uh, that we just, you know, went through in like 10, 15 minutes. All right, 
that's going to wrap it up. Hope you all enjoyed this. I uh, hope it wasn't too long with all the examples. But, uh, of course, as always, appreciate each and every one of you. If you could hit that like button on your way out, if you didn't hit it on the way in, I would appreciate it. Remember to subscribe to the channel, watch the whole Mod Mastery series for more expertise on what to do with mods and, and the basis for what I was doing here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next Holocron.